Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July the 15th of 2021. Well, it is titled the dark tower in Scorpius. So what do we see here? Well, this is a region of the sky looking towards the constellation of Scorpius, the scorpion. And what we're looking at is a dark tower. And you can see that stretching up from the bottom and up towards the top with the bright red outlining the top of the tower there. Now the dark area is a dark nebula, a dark dusty region where stars are currently forming. So we're seeing a region of star formation. And this is very prominent within a galaxy like our own. And in fact, when we look towards the constellation of Scorpius, we do note that we are looking towards the plane of our galaxy where we're actually seeing more stars, more nebulae and more star formation. Now what is happening else is happening here is that there is another cluster of stars off the top uh, upper left of this image called an OB association. And that stands for O and B type stars which are among the hottest stars. And they are giving off lots of ultraviolet radiation and they're doing a couple of things. First of all, they're shaping this nebula, their intense radiation pushes back the material and gives it almost the shape of a comet sometimes known as a cometary nebula. And they're also ionizing the material ionizing the hydrogen gas and that reddish glow that we see in an arc up there is hydrogen gas that has been ionized by these stars stars that we're not seeing off the edge of the screen and caused to glow when we excite hydrogen gas it gives off a distinct red color such as we see here in this image. Now we also see another type of nebula, the red color being an emission nebula, we also see a reflection nebula. And that is the bluish glow that we see around all of those other stars. They are also relatively hot blue stars. And they give off lots of ultraviolet radiation and blue light. And they're still embedded somewhat in the dust that formed them. So when their light goes out and strikes that dust, it reflects off the dust particles and scatters out into space. The blue light is better at being scattered and seems to come from all directions. So the blue light is what we see coming from this. And the red light is better able to penetrate straight through and travels off. So we see that bluish glow around these that we call a reflection nebula. So the reddish glow of the emission nebula, the blue glow of the reflection nebula, and the dark regions of star formation in the dark nebula are all visible in our image today of this star forming region. So that was our picture of the day for July the 15th of 2021. It was titled the dark tower in Scorpius. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.